Welcome to Keyboard Exchange International, folks, where today we're going to review some information that's found in the original vintage Hammond Organ Owner's Playing Guide. On the left side, you'll see the cover, and then uh, Brian is going to start bringing out some of the pages that we feel are the most relevant for this discussion. Now, if you need to uh, pause at any time to be able to read uh, the content, uh, feel free to pause and read, take your time and read leisurely, uh, and then uh, start playing again, and we're going to spend about 10 or 15 seconds on each page, but if you need longer than that, just press your pause button so you can read. So Brian, let's go to the one of the early pages in here. Now this print is kind of fine, so we're going to zoom in a little bit. Now, uh, the Hammond Organ Company was very cordial, and they uh, had a special note here at the beginning where they say hello and welcome you to the Hammond Organ world, but this is a brochure that's about 60 years old. So, uh, Brian, if you could put the next page in there, that'd be great. Again, we have some uh, vintage pictures enclosed with the uh, information showing how a family uh, can have a lot of fun sitting around and listening to the Hammond organ. And you can have fun and the pleasure of creating beautiful music yourself. Let's go to the next page, Brian. This page gives you some uh, brief introductions and some comments on organ music in general. And uh, we're going to just skip over that briefly and get to some of what I consider to be the most uh, relevant information. Now this is a good diagram of the features on a Hammond B3 organ. And um, it's helpful to understand what each feature on the organ is called. So by studying this particular page, you can get familiar with the terminology, and that can come in really handy later on. Brian, I'm going to ask you to put that uh, on the left-hand side for the next, as you flip that over. Okay, so we were just watching a picture of the uh, B3, and this next picture is the C3, which has all the same features, just a different furniture style. And to the right of that is the A100 model, which comes in a variety of furniture styles. We'll have the same features, plus built-in speakers and reverb. Now the most deluxe model of the A100 is what's called the model A105. And what makes that different and special is the fact that it's got uh, the locking top, the finished, factory finished back, looks more like a C3 really, but with speakers in it. Then we're going to take a look at the D100 series, which is characterized by having 32 bass pedals. Uh, and self-contained speakers. Very similar to the A105, except for the fact that it's got 32 bass pedals. Now on the flip side of that, you have an organ that resembles a C3, and that's the RT3, which is kind of like the brother to the D152, except it doesn't have built-in speakers. How to start the organ. Now, to me, this is one of the most important pages and uh, something that everyone really who owns a Hammond organ should read this and study, study it in detail so you really understand what, uh, what is required to safely start the organ. So I'm not going to read this to you, but you're going to read it yourself. And essentially the start switch 
engages the start motor and the run switch engages the synchronous run motor but the start switch has a built-in spring because once the organ is started you don't want the start motor to continue. Then we have an explanation of the preset keys. These are the reverse color keys to the left side of each manual. And these can come in really handy and mainly you need to understand that the B and the B flat keys, B flat and B preset keys, are really nothing more than on off switches for your draw bars. Now, within the owner's manual, I think that these two pages are perhaps the most valuable because what it does is it gives you a visual of the uh, draw bars. And um, which preset key controls which set of draw bars. Now, when you buy an organ from us, you get a copy of this information. So we're just putting this out there to let you know some of the basics and to let you know that you'll get a copy of this along with the instruments that you buy from us. It goes on to talk about the bass pedal board, uh, the expression pedal, the solo pedal unit, which would only be found in the organs with 32 bass pedals. To the right of that we have the volume uh, control which is are the three tabs to the left side and the vibrato tabs which allow you to turn vibrato on or off on each manual. It's a wonderful wonderful feature and a uh, little known fact is that the vibrato feature is one of the only things that can't be duplicated accurately with digital equipment. That adds so much to the warmth of the instrument, it's just amazing. Now percussion is something that got invented and introduced in 1955 and is the defining difference between a B2 and a B3 or a C2 and a C3. So these tabs which you'll find in the upper right hand corner on any B3, C3, or A100 are a marvelous addition and often used by everyone who plays Hammond organ. And if you have uh, the opportunity to buy a B2 or a C2 from us, we generally will add percussion. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to have, but not entirely necessary. And then Brian, if we could go uh, to the next page, please. So the owner's manual talks a little bit about playing your bass pedals and Keyboard Exchange has some uh, really good uh, introduction to playing bass pedal videos on YouTube, how to play your bass pedals, part one and part two, which I think uh, actually uh, gives a lot more information than what you'll see here. So that's about uh, all we want to say for now, except for the circle of fifths, which we could uh, highlight because that particular uh, piece of information is valuable to any musician. I would recommend that you not rely entirely on what you read here, but to Google it and uh, study it because the circle of fifths is great for all musicians to learn and understand. So we thank you for your time and attention. We hope this brief video has been informative and useful to those of you who uh, want to know more about the Hammond organ. And we would suggest you visit our website, keyboardexchange.com and also b3world.com. Both of these websites have a, a plethora of informative facts and useful information. Thank you very much. Signing off from Keyboard Exchange International.